Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Well guys, we're working on the uh, Acme threading project. So we got the shaft that needs both left and right hand threads on it. I've already got the first nut made and uh, we're going to get over here on the lathe and uh, we're going to start working on the shaft itself and uh, get the end cut down for a bearing to go on as well as thread it with the uh, eight left, or excuse me, right hand Acme threads on the first one. So let's get to it. So we're ready now to start working on the shaft itself. And uh, in addition to the threads that we need to cut on here, uh, there's also need to turn a little bit down here on the end where a bearing is gonna go up on this. And uh, he sent me a little drawing here. Basically, it needs to be uh, 875, 875 thousandths in diameter and go in 550 thousandths. So we're gonna start by that. Uh, it also needs to have a quarter inch 20 hole tapped in the end. Uh, so we'll drill that and that will also serve as a center for when we stretch this piece out and uh, start cutting our threads. I've got it mounted up in my collet chuck. Uh, this makes it a little bit easier for mounting purposes and I think we're ready to go. So uh, let's do it. So we'll start off by just facing the back here. Uh, make sure we got a good uh, edge to start on. Nice and true. Thousandths. A little line on there that I can see. Get an idea of where we're at. We're at just a little under an inch. All right, so we need to be at 875, and uh, we're at about 890 right now. So we need about 15 more thousandths to go. I'm just gonna sneak up on it. We got about 10 more to go. I'm gonna measure this with the uh, micrometer. This one needs to be pretty close. According to the micrometer, we've got about 12 thousandths to go here. So I'm gonna dial in two, four, six. I think we're gonna do eight thousandths on this pass. Right, we're right on the money there. Thing we're maybe a tenth over. That's right on the money. I'll probably hit it with just a little emery cloth. The, the back side is just maybe a tenth or two bigger than the front side, so uh, we'll straighten that out. But before we do that, I want to come in here and face off the back side of that. There we go. And just check that for, yeah. Now I'm just gonna come in here and break these edges. Very good. 
Now let's set up and we'll uh, drill a hole in the end for the uh, quarter 20 tap. Put a center in here. I'm going to have a quarter inch hole in there. I'm going a little bit big on it. Go grab a number seven drill bit. All right, drill us a hole for that tap. A little dab of oil on there. Should be plenty deep enough. All right, I think that's uh, pretty well got this end down here ready. Uh, I'll probably tap these holes afterwards since I'm be running a center in there, and I don't want to risk uh, uh, that start of that tap messing up that center hole. So uh, let's go ahead. We'll get this set up for cutting our threads. Well, I went and set up this uh, shaft over on my LeBlanc lathe at my home shop for threading, and I ran into a little snag. Um, basically, I need to do some, some maintenance to that machine before I can really do this. It's gonna take some time. Since I'm running a little bit of a deadline on this project, I decided I'm just gonna come out here to the museum and use the good old faithful Lodge and Shipley lathe. I hadn't used it in a while. So we're gonna finish this job up over here uh, on this, this machine. Uh, threading these Acme threads. So anyway, I'm going to zoom you in here and I kind of bring you up to speed on where we're at. So we're going to be running this job in the four jaw chuck and I've already come in here with the indicator. I've got everything running true. We're chucked up and ready to go now. Over here as far as tooling goes, we got a little lay flat insert in there which has got a insert for eight threads per inch on Acme threads and uh, we are pretty much ready to go. We're going to be doing regular uh, right hand threads uh, on this side. The other side is going to get left hand threads and uh, we'll be doing that a little bit later on. So anyway, we are ready. Let's go in here and do a threading job. So we should be ready to come in here and start threading. Um, like I mentioned before, we've got our insert in here. This is got for eight uh, threads per inch Acme thread. It's a specific insert. Unlike uh, 60 degree threads, you have to have the right profile for each thread pitch you're doing when you're doing Acme. Now, and also since Acme, instead of being on a 60 degree angle, uh, it's a 29 and a half degree angle. So uh, our 29 degree angle, excuse me. So we've got the compound here set to 14 and a half degrees rather than uh, we would normally be at 30 degrees, uh, half of your, your, your angle in there. So anyway, that's set up. So we're ready to go here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is come in here, we'll touch off, make a little, uh, just a scratch mark. And I'm gonna check my thread pitch and then we'll go to threading. Zero my compound. For a number to come around here and we'll just go a little ways to check our thread pitch. Looks like we got a little bit of run out on this end. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, I've got an eight thread per inch thread gauge here. This is actually 60 degree threads, but I uh, left my acne one at home, but it, it's still telling me I'm on eight threads per inch. So we are ready to go. We'll get some cutting oil here and we'll start cutting some passes. Trying to get a little oil on it. And we'll make our first pass. Here we go. Pass down. Now, 
when I was cutting that, I felt to this bar, and there was a pretty good bit of, of a vibration in it, harmonics, it's a long piece. Uh, I have a fall arrest for this lathe, and I think it's gonna be a good idea to just go ahead and put it on here and uh, do this job using the fall arrest. Uh, so let's get that set up, I'll be back in a minute. Well, I guess the good Lord was looking after me uh, when my LeBlanc gave me some trouble because I really kind of forgot about uh, trying to use a fall arrest on this job. And this job is a perfect job for where you need a fall arrest. Uh, so I'm actually kind of glad that uh, we're over here on this lathe because I don't have a fall arrest for the LeBlanc. So um, let's see, let me back that cutter out. But what you see here is you got some support. This is very similar to a steady rest, but instead it follows your cutter down. So as we're cutting, you constantly have that backup and top-down support. And it just gives this, this rod some rigidity when you get out here in a long, thin piece like this. It cuts down that chatter and vibration and hopefully gives you a good cut. So we had to make a few adjustments to get it all set up to work here, but we are set up now. And uh, I think we're in a lot better shape this job is probably going to go smoother because of it. So we get back to zero and fire the lathe up and let's make another pass. getting pretty close. I don't know how close yet, but um, I'm going to do a test fit here. I've got the nut that we made previously. And it's still not quite wanting to thread up on there. So uh, if we go a little bit deeper. All right, let's see where we're at. I've been testing this along and along, and I believe it's gonna go this time. So take our nut, and that's just hand tight. Yeah, that feels good.
All right, I think we've uh, got this one done. Took a little while, but we got it. Well, there we go. I can uh, hand tighten this on here. I think that's gonna be good enough. And we got that one side of this done. The right hand Acme 8 threads. Up next, we gotta do the other side. And these are gonna have to be left hand threads. And I'm gonna do that on another day. I've still gotta make a nut and do everything we just did on this, but the process is gonna be a little bit different. And uh, we'll do that in another video on another day because I'm out of time now. But thought you'd enjoy seeing that. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, leave me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Leave me some comments. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll talk to you later.